What's up guys, Ebert here with Hurricane X, and this is a dead PC. I know it's unfortunate to witness something like this, but it's a system that Snows built for his friend five years ago. And I'm not surprised, because Snows, he's just completely unreliable. Come on, Eber. Yeah. It lasted four and a half years. These systems are supposed to last more than that, man. Like, come on. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna try and troubleshoot this PC. Uh, we're gonna walk you through some of the troubleshooting steps and um, yeah, see if we can fix this. All right guys, so I have the owner of this PC, of this dead PC here, come over to the cemetery. His name's Aziz. <laughs> I built him this PC about five years ago for how much? About $3,500. Yeah, I probably overcharged him a little bit on this. So the CPU is a 5930K. There's 32 gigabytes of RAM in there. There's a 980 Ti because? Video editing. Yeah, he does a lot of video editing. And there's an 850 Evo uh, inside for storage. So tell us, what happened? How did it die? Okay, so about a year ago, it started to smell. <laughs> <laughs> so a year ago, I started to have this kind of burnt smell coming from the uh, the tower, kind of like plastic burning. And then I tried to uh, kind of ignore it for a while and it was still working, everything was fine. And then one day, after kind of a couple months not using this PC, because I've been editing somewhere else, I boot the PC, I open my Premiere file for my film, everything's wor uh, working perfectly, so I'm really excited about that. Then I go to sleep overnight, wake up the next morning, trying to boot it, and nothing's working. And it's, it's dead. dead. It's completely completely dead. dead. So you've heard the backstory behind this PC and that's ultimately what we're trying to do is trying to fix it. So follow along in this journey where we try to resurrect a dead PC, guys. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. The Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition has arrived. Its linear optical switches are rated at 100 million keystrokes and actuate at just one millimeter. That gives it a lightning quick feel with no risk of debounce delay. Let your fingertips appreciate the double shot PBT keycaps with their extra texture and enhanced durability so you can always dominate your game. The Razer Huntsman TE keyboard. This is gaming at a speed of light. Learn more at the links below. So it looks like the cable is just working just fine. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's, it's an issue problem. at all. So let's just plug this in, secure it, and then turn on the power supply. All right. Now, typically, you should be able to see motherboard lights in the case. This is five years old. There might there, there might not be any RGB either. Right. Um, so let's see if it actually boots. So. All right. Snows wasn't lying, guys. Wait, there should be a blue light here, right? Yeah, like okay. the, the power LED should be working, but it's not. Now, another issue that you could run into is that if you plug in peripherals on your USB port, there could be a minor short causing the system to boot. Um, so you wanna make sure that you unplug everything and then just to run it straight up using a display cable and your power cable, and that's it. Just make sure that you get a post and then kind of plug each peripheral in to see which one's causing the issue. If we take a look at another things that you can do is the front panel connector. You have to make sure that the wire that goes all the way up has continuity. What you can do to check that is just to remove the front panel power button and short it to see if that would make your PC turn on. So to isolate the issue to the power supply, there's a couple things you can do. First of all, of course, just making sure that the switch works. The second thing you can do is jump it. All right, guys, so I wasn't able to show this right on camera, but here's a quick how-to guide for jumping your power supply. The first step is to turn off and unplug the PSU from the wall, then unplug it from every component and grab the 24-pin connector. On a PSU like this that has the old-fashioned ketchup and mustard cables, look for the green wire and the black wire right next to it. If you have a newer PSU with all black cables, place the 24 pin connector so its clip is facing upwards and then count four pins inwards from the top left corner. That's where the green cable would be. All right, so all you need to do right now is to take a simple paper clip and then bend it into a U shape, then take each end and plug it into the fourth pin out and the one right next to it, which is the fifth. That would be the green and black. Now plug in and turn on the power supply. If the fan spins up, it's alive. If it doesn't, well, it's probably dead. And that's exactly what we tried and we ended up with a dead power supply. Back to the video. So in this case, with this PC, I think we've come to a theory that it could be a dead power supply. 
Right? Most likely. Most likely. Yeah. So at this point, we're just trying to fix this PC. And I think what we're going to do is remove the power supply. Uh, I did bring a spare power supply with me just in case. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Unplug everything and see where it goes. I, I, I don't. I thought, I thought you did. Yeah, I have one. Okay, good. Because you're in the middle of renovations. I mean, I thought that you would obviously have these tools handy. Come on, Snows. So we have a new power supply installed. Uh, it's a little bit on the overkill side, but uh, yeah, it's the only spare one that I had. But we haven't really taken care of cable management because we just wanted to make sure that this fixes the issue. So we plugged in the GP power connectors, the motherboard 24 pin and the EPS uh, pin on the on the motherboard for the CPU. So I guess that's it, right? It's yeah. just to plug We just it got in. a plug. Do you know what the I and the O stands for? Yes, okay. 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 O is for off. Yes. I is for or in. in. There we go. Or on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So plug it in. I heard a little bit of a t which means the electricity should be flowing right now. Okay. Okay. Did you? It is armed and ready to did you, explode. Did you? Did you turn on the power supply? Not switch? yet. Should we do it? I'm trying to build some suspense. Okay. Here. Fine. Okay. Fine. Do you see any LEDs? Oh, I saw a light. You saw a light. I saw a single light. Hopefully, it wasn't a reflection. Please tell me it didn't just instantly die. We have the power switch connector plugged in. Yes, it, it wasn't my responsibility, okay? I, I, it, it was yours. You're the one who disconnected it. But you, okay. Fine, okay, let's, let's not, share the blame. Yeah, let's not share the blame. I've got the eye ready. Okay. You good? I'm good. Please tell me it's not gonna do the other flash. Here we go, guys. Oh, we're hearing noises and there's power. I'm yes. Sorry. I'm sorry if I'm yelling. That's good. No, it's, it's all good, It's everything's there. We fixed the, the PC. We don't now, even need to connect it to display. For the, for we don't need to test it. Eber, stop here no, while we're winning. But but the fan is not spinning. Can you explain to me why that is? Oh, I disconnected it probably. Oh, okay. okay. Good. Well, don't... Uh... I don't smell anything. Let's plug in a display. Oh, yes. Okay, BIOS good. Reset. We are in the BIOS, which is awesome. This is good. This BIOS is, absolute... is B for BIOS. Okay. I for in. O for them. <laughs> All right, so before we set up the BIOS, let's actually cable, let's do some cable management inside because right now it looks like, <laughs> it looks like we pulled off a verge. So here in our case, we had a second power supply, right? Right, Eber? Yes, we did. So this is a good situation to be in. But if you can't, keep in mind, power supplies usually have really long warranties, especially when bought new. In the case of Corsair, I think it's between seven to 10 years. Mm -hmm. So if it breaks, you send it back, they fix it, they send it back to you, or they send you a refurbished model or a brand new model. So I hope you guys were able to take away something from this video. It was definitely fun troubleshooting a system and finding out the culprit, which was the power supply, of course. And, and looking at my exquisite work. Yep. I gotta say, this is one great looking PC, except for the discoloration of, of this white case. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think of, uh, of, of, of this whole troubleshooting process. In fact, have you been in the same situation as the two of us? Let us know. I'm Ebo with Hardware Canucks. I'm Snows with Hardware Canucks. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Subscribe to Boot Sequence. It's gonna be right here. You killed it, man.